Falkland Islands English is mainly British in character. However, as a result of the isolation of the islands, the small population has developed and retains its own accent, dialect, which persists despite a large number of immigrants from the United Kingdom in recent years. In rural areas i.e. anywhere outside Stanley, known as camp from Spanish campo or countryside, the Falkland accent tends to be stronger. The dialect has resemblances to Australian, New Zealand, West Country and Norfolk dialects of English, as well as Lowland Scots. Two notable Falkland Island terms are Kelper, meaning a Falkland Islander, from the kelp surrounding the islands, sometimes used pejoratively in Argentina, and Smoko, for a smoking break, as in Australia and New Zealand. The word yomp was used by the British Armed Forces during the Falklands War, but is passing out of usage. In recent years, a substantial Saint Helenian population has arrived, mainly to do low-paid work, and they too have a distinct form of English. Settlement history The Falkland Islands, a cluster of 780 islands off the eastern coast of Argentina, had no indigenous population when the British arrived to explore the islands in 1690. Continuous settlement dates only to 1833, when British forces removed 26 Argentinian soldiers from the islands and claimed the islands for the British. In 1845, the capital city of Stanley, located on East Falkland, was established. Argentina also has a claim to the islands, and in 1982, Argentine forces invaded the Falkland Islands. The British moved to defend the British control of the islands, with Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher calling the islanders, of British tradition and stock. In under three months, nearly a thousand people were killed, and over two thousand were injured. British-Argentinian tension regarding claim to the islands still exists, but as over 98% of islanders voted to remain under British sovereignty in the last election, the identity of the island overall is overwhelmingly British. This history has implications for the linguistic features of Falkland Islands English, which is similar to British English but distinct in some vocabulary and phonology. Topic. Phonetics and phonology. Topic. English in the Falklands is non-rhotic. This is consistent with other varieties of English in the Southern Hemisphere. One major difference between the English of the Falklands and other Englishes of the Southern Hemisphere is the onset centralization of I, in which nice is pronounced ends. Topic. Vocabulary Topic. The Falklands English vernacular has a fair amount of borrowed Spanish words often modified or corrupted. These include colloquialisms such as che, also encountered in Rioplatans Spanish from Argentina, and pucha equivalent to wow, or dam, from pucha, a euphemism for puta or whore. They are particularly numerous, indeed dominant in the local horse-related terminology. For instance, the islanders use alizan, colorada, negro, blanco, goteao, picasso, sarco, rabancana, etc. for certain horse colors and looks, or bozal, cabresta, bastos, cinch, congenilla, meladas, tiendas, manares, etc. for various items of horse gear. Unlike the older English, French, and Spanish place names given by mariners, which refer mainly to islands, rocks, bays, coves, and capes, points, the post 1833 Spanish names usually identify inland geographic geographical locations and features, reflecting the new practical necessity for orientation, land delimitation and management in the cattle and sheep farming. Among the typical such names or descriptive and generic parts of names are Rincon Grande, Cerritos, Compito, Cantera, Terra Motas, Malo River, Brass Mar, Dos Lomas, Torchita Point, Piaja Point, Estancia, Oraqueta, Piedra Sola, Laguna Seco, Manada, etc. Topic. References Topic. 